welcome back to my channel today i got a box of bh cosmetics it's my first bh cosmetics haul and i wanted to go through everything do some swatches on the eyeshadow palette that i got so let's get into it i'm not gonna do long intros i'm not i'm just not gonna do it sorry so it comes in this like weird wrapping it looks really shiny but it's really not i don't know why it looks like that but it is not shiny i got a lot of stuff in them too so i don't want anything to drop on the floor <clears throat> so the first palette i got was this one carly by bill Bill. i don't even know how to say her name there's the colors in the back cardboard on this is actually really well made and it's really pretty it's got like the metallic colors let me get it out it's hard to get out okay so once again it's got the metallic on here Comes with the sleeve. Here's the colors. I don't want my lighting here, sucks. I'm sorry. There we go. Here's the colors. So I'll probably swatch like the first and second row to see. And this doesn't. Let me see. Eyeshadows don't have names, so that's cool. Yes. So I'm gonna swatch this first one right here. Mm, this is pretty creamy. It's like a pretty new color. There's the first swatch. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Pretty like shimmer color. <coughs> <coughs> Plus me. Here's the second one. The second one is very not great pigmented. Ooh, I just realized there's a camera. Oh, a camera. A mirror in here. This is really creamy. These are really creamy. Which I like a lot. I love the creamies. There's the third one. This pink. That one's really pretty. I don't even know if you can see that. Let's watch it. Okay, this one is definitely pigmented, but it kind of came off like clumpy a little bit. So there's the pink one. These are all really creamy though. And they're really pretty, like really pretty. There's that one. Okay, I think that was the first row. We've got five, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go to the second row now. I'm just gonna do it until the second row. These are all really creamy. I haven't felt one that was super dry. This one was clumpy too. That one, let's go in. Okay, this one is not creamy. This one's like powder. And it's very light, like I don't, you can barely see that on my skin. This one's the same, it's very powdery. It's like a plum, purple plum. There's that one. I'm like running out of arm space. Okay. The shiny ones are definitely creamy. There's that one. I'm gonna try and make it come up a little bit because you guys can't see it. I'm still doing it wrong. Okay. The lighting 
these two right now. There's the last one, and you can't really see it. My arm's like running out of room. Let me wipe it off really quick, actually. Okay. I really like the highlighters in here. It's pretty. There's some highlighters and blushes. They're all really shimmery, though. I don't really like shimmer. I like highlighter, but I don't like my blush to be shimmery, so that's not gonna work for me. Okay, we're on the last color in the second row. After I just wipe my arm off. <laughs> this one's not pigmented very well, which is okay, but. So there's that one, that's the Carly Bibble palette. So let's go to the next one I have. I did get some pressed powder and stuff, which I will be trying tomorrow on my face. I'll be doing a full face tutorial tomorrow <clears throat> to try all these products out to see if they actually work. Here is the, <clears throat> this is the Studio, BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder. And mine's in two, the shade 230. That's what the packaging looks like. Here's the compact, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain about that, but let's see. It's not damaged, it comes with a mirror, which is always good. It feels nice. We'll find out tomorrow. So there's that. I did get this free eyeshadow palette. It's called Afternoon Rendezvous 16 color eyeshadow palette. I got this for free with my order, which was cool. Everybody loves free makeup, right? So I'm sorry I keep sniffling. I'm catching the cold over here. I'm in Florida and it's actually really cold and it's not super cold, but it's cold. These are really, I'm gonna say they're really hard to get out of the packaging. I don't know if it's just me or what. I don't wanna rip it, but um, I might have to. Okay, we're gonna skip that one. We'll go to the one that I'm really excited about. This one. Huh? I don't care, whatever. This one is super heavy. It is makeup brushes and it's heavy and I mean heavy so I got the 36 piece brush set because it was on sale and it comes with a lot I'm going to be using this tomorrow um, it's got a lot of brushes in there like I don't want to go through every single one of them but it probably has every single brush you would need to do your makeup so that's good, and it comes in a really cool case. It like folds up really nice. Look at this fan brush. This is huge. Look at that. It's a very soft, very, very soft. Let me, let me pull out the foundation brush here because I really don't like brushes that are not soft. These are really soft, like really, really soft. I'm actually surprised about how soft these are. They're packaged really nice. They don't seem to be like cheap made. Um, I think I paid $27 for this one. It was on sale. I don't know how much it is gonna be now, but um, that was 27 and it comes with 36 pieces, I think, or something like that, 32. I still can't get that palette open. I also got some setting spray. It comes with the little sprayer in the bottle. This is just Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray. I'm gonna try it. I did open it to smell it, and it kind of smells like soap, but yeah, it smells like soap. Like dial soap but obviously I'm not gonna have my eyes open when I'm doing it so we'll just see if it works I also 
got concealer and the shade is 113. Let's open this and see what this looks like. Okay. That's the concealer. I'll go ahead and just do like a swatch. You have to be careful with these because the cap just literally pops on and off. You don't twist it, so. That's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird, like it looks weird. I'm actually really excited to use this stuff tomorrow, so. Concealer looks like it's gonna work well. It's pretty thick, but it looks like it's gonna do the job, so that's all that matters to me. I also got liquid foundation. I'm still doing trial and error on foundation. I use um, Clinique right now. Let me just grab it and show you guys. This is what I'm using right now in the shade Sand, 09 Sand. Um, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. This one I thought was gonna be awesome, but it seems to be like really oily for my skin and I really don't like it, but I use it when I have to. But I really don't like that one at all. As far as concealers go, I use this one. This is like my go-to concealer. So I've been trying to find one that is better than that one, but I honestly haven't found one that's better because I use... A Clinique. I used to use a Clinique one too, but I'm just not really happy with their, their stuff. So here's the foundation. It comes in a glass, like matte bottle. It's pretty nice. It's in a pump, which is awesome because all of my, I don't have any foundations that are in a pump. They're all like, you gotta pour them on your hand and this is gonna be awesome. I'm really gonna, I already know I'm gonna like it. Okay, and then I've got, is that everything? I guess that is everything already, that's crazy. Okay, besides this eyeshadow that I just can't get out. This is such a long video, it's really not. But it's only my second one, so we'll see. I don't know why this is so hard to get out. I have to call my husband to come in here and get this out. I just don't want to rip the packaging. You know, I'm not even gonna keep the packaging probably, but I'm just gonna open it. I can't, I can't do this. I can't, I can't do it. It's, I can't even rip it open. This is crazy. <laughs> Babe. Can you get this out for me? Oh, I think I got it. Never mind. Okay, I'm almost done. So this one is, it was free, so keep that in mind. It's got the film over it. These are super tiny, super tiny. Like I have tiny hands, like this is literally like, it's tiny, they're super, super tiny. But that's okay. So I'll swatch a little bit of these. These are creamy too. Look at that one. That is, it's really pigmented, really pigmented. So I just swashed, swashed, I just swashed, swatched this one right here. I'm really into like the browns and light colors now. I used to love wearing bright colors when I was, well, I'm kind of wearing bright right now, but I like wearing like, I used, when I was in high school, I used to wear like hot, hot pinks and super light blues and purples. I used to wear all kinds of colors, so I'm kind of drifting away from that now, but um, I still like the color ones too, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I swatched the gold one and I just swatched this dark brown one right here. That's what they look like so far. Gosh, I'm sorry, it's like, there we go. There's three of them. I'll swatch the pink one. These are all creamy. Look at that. These are all super, super creamy. And they're really affordable, like super, super affordable. There's 
a pink one. And I guess, ooh, this one's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but no, you can't. You see this black one right here? It's got like shimmer in it. You see that? It's like green sparkles. It's really pretty. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna swatch this one too. Pigment's got on this one too. I don't really see the sparkle that much, but. And pigmentation is good on that. These all have really, really good pigmentation. Some of them don't. There's no fallout on this either. So I wanna add that. There's absolutely no fallout on this. So I definitely recommend this. If you haven't tried BH Cosmetics, I would definitely go and try them. Um, I just learned about them and I'm just learning about a lot of stuff, honestly. Like I just bought the Jaclyn Hill palette and I, I know a lot of people will use Morphe brushes, but I'm not, I've used like, I've got a couple Morphe brushes right here. Like these are Morphe brushes. I'm just not really a big fan. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not. I got one for free and I was like, ooh, I'm really gonna love this. It's a Morphe brush. No, this one's like, it's frayed. I have, I have any, I use that brush maybe two times and that's it, so. But that wraps up my video for today. I'll be back tomorrow to do a face make tutorial on the products that I bought today. Hopefully they last and I'll see you next time.